You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Welcome, I'm Spaghetti King, and this is Voicemail from an Old Friend by Elizabeth ASMR. Finally, I get to talk about Elizabeth, seriously. When I started doing this, she was coming out with her good videos, and I was like, yeah, she'll come out with another one, and then I'll, and then I'll cover her. And then she, like, disappeared, and then she, like, came back, and it was kind of like, all right for a bit, but finally we got a banger. We're here. This is top class, so now I can talk about this. Okay. This is a very good audio. Um, thankfully, quite simple to uh, summarize, though, for the most part. Uh, this is mostly backstory. Uh, I mean, it's like a f it's like a phone message thing, so that's kind of how it's going to be. But uh, basically, it starts with your old female best friend uh, calling you and she pretty much says that she had been looking through uh, your old messages and photos of you and she was thinking about the past and what ifs and she misses you and uh, you know she, she, she was uh, wondering if uh, you know or feelings of uh, you know changed on that situation or if you wanted to talk to her again and whatnot and then she basically explains what happened in the past where you told her that you had feelings for her and she said you she just wanted to remain friends and then eventually you kind of started to distance each other from yourself she suggested to uh, distance uh, yourselves because she understood the pain of you having feelings for her and her not reciprocating. She admits that the reason why she wanted to just remain friends is because she was afraid that if it didn't work out romantically, then relationship in general with you would end, and she was afraid of that. So therefore she basically took, I guess, the, <laughs> the half-foot-in approach. And then eventually it became, we'll just distance each other. But, she took it personally when you apparently started talking to some other woman. Like, a couple weeks after you uh, kind of started distancing each other. And she took that as, she didn't really mean much to you in the way she thought she did. And she, you'll just talk to some other broad whenever. And, you know, she, she, uh, she, she minded this. So she's trying to cope with this by basically forgetting about how she felt about you and saying, Nyeh. no, it wasn't serious. No, she denies it. And pretty much what we're at the point in this scenario is uh, she had been denying it for a long time and basically she's accepted that she still loves you. And now she's trying to apologize to what she incited back then and she wants you back in her life. Apparently it's been six months. And she misses you when you get this great moment where she says that. She says, I miss I miss you. And it's like, ugh. Yes. <laughs> That's good, dude. That's where we're on, dude. But, uh, you know, she says that. And, you know, that's around halfway through the audio's progression. So she says that she misses you. And uh, then she kind of goes on some, like, personal tirades where... She says, you know, did you know that you introduced me to my favorite song? I can't even listen to it now because whenever I do, I think of you. And, you know, can relate to that situation. That's what happens when you are in love, is you'll associate it with these things. And like any, you know, obsessive compulsive person, you will align it with things that it really isn't aligned with. Overemphasize points because they give a reciprocity to you have this deep longing, this deep nostalgia that you wouldn't have for either case, uh, because you're obsessed. And, uh, you know, in this case, you're feeling uh, that longing and that pain. Uh, you know, she mentions earlier on that she walks through the same park that you and her used to walk through, uh, and, uh, you know, she has difficulty with it and these kinds of things, and she's basically ha had this melancholy since you've parted. Um, 
and she's calling to resign that. And um, pretty much it goes. And to conclude, uh, it pretty much is just she says, you know, I want you back in my life. If at all you s still have the same feelings for me, then I want to turn that around and I want to uh, build on that and, you know, whatnot. And, you know, if someone else is in, in your life, then I don't know, but, uh, you know, I do love you, she says. You know, she says, I love you, I love you so much, and it's really great. I really love that moment where, you know, she really just comes around and says it. And, uh, yeah, it pretty much just concludes with, like, so call me back if you, you know, feel the same. And that's pretty much it. So, like I said, pretty simple to summarize because it's sequential. Um, and those are most of the highlights, too. You know, so the characterization is like that. I mean, I pretty much establish most of the key moments. Um, funnily enough, this is like a 15-minute video, but I haven't really gotten to that same length. Uh, the reason probably would be is because, in concept, like I said, the key events are relatively simple, but it's sprinkled with this very good characterization in between. And basically, some repetition, not too noticeable repetition, but uh, it's very good. It's, it's, it's very compelling. It's very enjoyable. Uh, I very much like it, um, which is usually what you get with Elizabeth. Uh, a little bit more um, sprinkles in it. <laughs> um, usually not as long as this uh, with her, but this one was a little bit longer. And, uh, you know, you, you feel the impact of it more. This is definitely an impactful one. Uh, this is one that will stick with me. Um, but I'm honestly trying. I think I actually summarized it. I summarized it quicker than I would have expected. Because usually my reviews go on around the same length as the audio. But that's pretty much it, I want to say. Um, so, I guess I, I can mention the art. I think the art, you have, like, a girl with, like, white hair. And she just has a phone. And it's, like, a generic... Uh, room background. Pretty simple, but I like it. Um, Elizabeth usually has a very unique kind of art that looks... It, it, it's a distinct style that I actually kind of like, but uh, not as much in this video. Just kind of a normal anime look, which is fine. Uh, I was fine with the look. But, um... Yeah, so, okay, that's the scenario, that's the characterization, that's the progression. Um, I can say, to view the characterization just a little bit, um, the character intent is very clear and very compelling throughout the entire thing. Every Everything that this character feels that she explains to you, makes complete sense to you, is relatable, and is compelling, which is very good. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I can, you know, rewatch this and still get like a good, like good impact from it. It's very good. So, you know, overall, can't recommend more than enough. Happy that I can finally talk about Elizabeth because, you know, she puts out good stuff. But, uh, anyway, uh, the rating, audio 3 out of 5, wholesome rating 10 out of 10, overall rating 10 out of 10, rank legend. So, highly recommend, very much love. Uh, to Elizabeth ASMR. Uh, you know, uh, the nice Swiss girl out there. We love the Swiss. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Spaghetti King. I love you all. And farewell.